Hi everyone, Julie here from Julie Aaron Design. If you don't know me yet, hello, I'm an artist from Canada and I have my own design brand through which I sell my art and designs on print on demand websites like Redbubble, Society6, Zazzle, that kind of thing. Um, so more recently I opened a shop on my own website using Printful, which is a print on demand site as well, but you can integrate it with your own website using WooCommerce or Shopify and um, stuff like that. So this is my website. You can see I sell art prints and cell phone cases, t-shirts, that kind of thing. Um, now since I just opened the store recently, I haven't had a lot of time to upload all of my artwork that I have on my other shops because I've been doing it for like five years, um, so I have hundreds of designs to upload, um, so it's a little daunting. Um, but recently, I was introduced to the software, which I can actually use to bulk upload my designs to Printful and other websites. Um, so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today, is how I batch upload designs to Printful uh, to my own, to sell on my own website, and you can also use this for Redbubble and some other websites that I'll be showing you here. Um, so I'm going to be using this PodConnect software. So you can go over to podconnect.io um, to check it out, and you can download the software for Windows and Mac, and you can do a free trial so you can you know, check it out and see if it works for you. And um, full disclosure, they did reach out to me with a membership for this so I could test it out. And um, I've actually found that it's pretty useful. So I'm going to be recommending it to you guys. And it's also from the creators of Merch Informer. So if you're around print on demand, you've probably heard of Merch Informer for Merch by Amazon. Um, so they're a reputable brand and, you know, it's always good to look into that before downloading any kind of software to your computer and make sure that they're a trustworthy um, business and all that kind of thing. Um, so I'm not going to go through the whole installation of the software, but you can see um, here all the different integrations that they have. So there's Redbubble, Amazon, Teespring, Etsy. Uh, WooCommerce and Shopify, which are the ones that you can do through your own website. Um, and yeah, so you're going to be creating an account to download this PodConnect software, and you're going to use that same account to um, log into PodConnect. So I'm going to open up PodConnect here. Okay, so over here in the PodConnect software, you're, you're going to see this screen once you've logged in. Um, so you can add a CSV table or CSV table with headers, um, which is basically just an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheets spreadsheet with the information about your designs. But I'm actually not going to use this today. I'm just going to go straight to images table. And from here, you can just upload designs straight from your computer into the software. Um, so you can go into load files and then it opens up your computer browser so you can add you know, a single image, multiple images, folders, add a whole bunch of stuff into here. So um, I've already got these files loaded to demonstrate with. Um, and something to note, these are all like pattern files, which are going to require no adjustment on the product. So the product that I'm going to be showing you and the design work perfectly together. I don't have to go in and manually adjust anything. So you want to keep that in mind when you're uploading your designs and when you're designing your design as well and have the product in mind for designing. Um, so moving ahead, we're going to go and go into services, Printful. Um, and from here, you can actually see the other services. I'm not going to go through all of these today, but there you've got Teespring, Redbubble, Spreadshirt, Printify, and other markets coming soon. So that's kind of exciting to see what else they add in the future. Um, so to add your Printful store, you have to go back into Printful. 
um, and you go to stores and then we're going to be adding my Julianne Design store. So you're going to copy and paste the URL but just up until the end of the numbers as you can see here just exactly like this. You're going to copy and paste that URL into Pod Connect and save. So as you can see all the products that they offer come up. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to do all of the print tote bags. So um, I found this to be successful with the tote bag and I can upload to a whole bunch of tote bags. Um, so once we select the tote bag you can see all the options. And so to go through, you can add, you know, these are the handle colors. Um, so you should be kind of familiar with the products that you're uploading to, so you know, you know, what all these customizations mean. Um, and then under this print file, we're going to use use image tabs data because that's going to pull from this images table. Um, okay, so for mock-up style, we're going to have to go back into Printful here. Um, so I've already got this product in my product templates, or you could also just search products any other way in, in here to find it. Um, so I'm just going to click on the tote bag, go add to store, and then proceed to mockups. And this is just like a dummy design. This isn't going to do anything here. So we're going to decide which mock-up style we want. So I want to use lifestyle mock-ups. So back in Pod Connect, we're going to type in here lifestyle mock-ups. And it needs to be exactly the same as it is here. Like typed out exactly the same with the capitals and no capital letters. Um, so the main mock-up category is going to be mock-up. So we're going to type that mock-up. And then main mock-up image is this 15 by 15 slash black. So I'm just going to like copy and paste that directly in here. Okay, and then uncheck categories. That's if there's more um, options in this part here below here that you don't want to include and push to your store. So I've already got some information in here under data um, and this is basically just for the first design but we can go back in and, and update every single design over here. Um, so price, you kind of have to know what the price is for this product, and I already have these in my shop, so I know that I'm selling them for this price. Um, so from here, you could go now into Redbubble and set up these designs to push to Redbubble as well. So we're also using image tabs data. You can set the background color. You can set your markup, which is automatically set to 20%. Um, put in all the same information here. Um, you could copy settings from an existing work like you can on their website. So you just go into edit the product that you want to copy and copy and paste the URL of that design. Um, and then you can check and uncheck all the products that you want to put it on and um, yeah, the default view, all the stuff that you can do on Redbubble's website. So from here we're going to go into Uploader and we're going to check off Printful and then you can check off Redbubble if you're doing that or any of these. You can go through and fill them out for all of these and then push them all through at the same time which is kind of cool. Um, so as you can see here they all have the same <laughs> description and title so we're going to want to change that by clicking on Show Details and then Edit Text. And so here I can see the print file I'm editing is this pastel mermaid. So I'm going to update my description and title to match that. Uh, so one thing to note is to leave your tag blank for Printful because we're going to set that manually later. Um, so hit save. So I've uploaded all three or uh, edited all three of these design details and 
titles and they're all pretty similar designs. I mean, they're just recolors of the same design. So it's really quick just to go in and edit the colors and just make a couple of adjustments for each one. And now we're ready to start uploading. So we're going to click start uploading. And it's going to actually first prompt you to log in to your Printful account and any other account that you're uploading to at the same time. Um, since I've already done that, it's just going to go through this whole process of uh, uploading each design. And you can see as it goes through each section um, that you've selected and, you know, if, they, if it comes up with any problem, it will show here in red and then it will show if you can look at a screenshot of where it went wrong. So in case you messed up the, um, the mock-ups, which can be a little bit tricky, you can click on that and see where it went wrong and just kind of fix it from there. Okay, so now we can see that all three of my designs were uploaded. So now we go over to my Printful account and go back into my store. You can see they're all uploading to my WooCommerce store. And, you know, after a few minutes, I'm going to go back in and update each of these individual products in WooCommerce, edit WooCommerce like on my website and update the SEO and, you know, add tags and categories and all that stuff, which I do anyway. But it's still going to totally save me time to be able to bulk upload these patterns and things to my shop and just get everything in there and then I can go in and make those changes later. So anyway, I hope you liked this video and you found something really interesting and useful here. Um, you could totally test out the software for free and see if it works for you. And, um, you know, it is quite new, so you should report any bugs that you find, you know, certain products. I, they probably didn't go through every single product to test to make sure that it works. So you might find some problems, but just let them know and they're really good with fixing issues. So yeah, check out the free trial. I'm going to link everything below and I actually have a membership code um, for 20% off. So if you use Julie20, you'll get 20% off a membership um, if you decide to go that route. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. I also do a lot of art videos, drawing, speed drawing, time lapse, painting, other tutorials and things like that. So we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.